Hope you brought your appetite for today's video, because we're serving up human pork buns. I bet a side of spooky rice would be amazing with these. <laughs> Welcome to Sick Flicks, where I take a deep dive into the cinematic sewer to help you embrace your inner gore geek. I'm Mike Bracken, aka The Horror Geek, and today we're looking at Herman Yao's Category 3 classic, The Untold Story. Released back in 1993, The Untold Story is one of Hong Kong's most legendary exploitation films. It's got a great lead from Anthony Wong, who'd go on to win Best Actor honors at the Hong Kong Film Awards, and it's got plenty of splatter. If that weren't enough, it's also based on a real crime, although it's been sensationalized quite a bit in its journey to the screen. With all that said, can the untold story serve up five barf bags of human meat buns? Let's get to the gore and find out. We fade in on Hong Kong, 1978, where these guys are starting a lucrative business selling Chinese Tide Pod knockoffs. Except, this guy feels like he's been ripped off and he's not too happy about it. Push me again and I'll jam these Tide Pods up your nose. Hey, wait a minute. Too bad Anthony Wong's had enough. You could say this dude's between a walk and a hard place as he gets beamed in the skull. And if that weren't enough, he then douses him in gasoline and lights him on fire. I don't know, I always thought you made the volcano with onion, but between this and the walk, Anthony Wong might have a future at Benihana. And with that done, we jump over to Macau, circa 1986. These kids are having a nice day at the beach when they find this smelly pirate treasure. <laughs> they're trying to figure out what's in there, but they're stumped. Naturally, this means the cops show up, so it's time to meet our comic relief. <laughs> if you're wondering why a film like The Untold Story has comic relief, it's because Hong Kong films often took an everything but the kitchen sink approach to narrative. It doesn't fit here, but what can you do? Wait, King Kong! See what I mean? Hilarious. While they're doing that, Inspector Lee shows up. Listen, babe, I like to take all my first dates to a crime scene. It's how I know if you're wife material. And yeah, that's veteran Hong Kong actor Danny Lee. Down at the water's edge, everyone's ready to give Inspector Lee a hand. And back over in our other movie, Anthony Wong's cosplaying George Romero with those glasses. And he's hard at work butchering this pig through the magic of editing. After that, he's conducting job interviews. Oh, it's 8.25 an hour, plus all the human pork buns you can eat during your shift. So, if you guessed Anthony Wong is trying to take over the restaurant through nefarious means just like in the Ebola Syndrome, give yourself a screenwriter's credit. Next, we check back in with the cops. Danny Lee has another piece of arm candy, because that's going to be a recurring gag in this film. And we get a status update on the Severed Limbs case. These cops are idiots. I wonder if any crimes in Hong Kong ever get solved. And I wonder if those severed limbs have anything to do with the missing owner of the restaurant Anthony Wong's trying to buy. Hmm. Later on, we head down to the morgue, where they've put out a nice buffet of finger food. Back at the restaurant, Anthony Wong's cheating at Mahjong. Too bad his new hire spotted him. Meanwhile, over at CSI Hong Kong, we've got a match on the fingerprints. And if you're wondering who the match is, too bad, because we're jumping to another scene. <laughs> It's mail call at the police station. Well, guess it's time to put in my resignation. This letter from Publishers Clearinghouse says I'm rich. So long, suckers. 
Turns out the letter is actually from a relative of the missing restaurant owner. As you can see, the cops are giving this their full attention. <laughs> you and me both. That high protein power lifter diet can be rough. And before you can say more comic relief, here comes Danny Lee with a chick. Oh, that Inspector Lee. He's so crazy. But hey, we're also gonna get some exposition. I know you've been on the edge of your seat waiting for that fingerprint stuff to pay off. Back over at the restaurant, the new hire is gossiping about Anthony Wong's cheating. Guessing he's gonna have a meeting with HR soon. And by soon, I mean after closing, as Wong slams this receipt spike right into his eyeball. I'm gonna need you to read the fine print on these tickets. Then he beats him with this spoon. You could say this dude's gone from the ladle to the grave. Then he's doing his best Lionel Richie impression. I said you're once, twice, three times a ladle. And since he now has to dispose of a body, he might as well make some money off it too. Tomorrow's special? Ribs. You could say these guts are pretty awful. After that, he starts carving up the rump roast. Remember kids, you never want to know how they make the sausage. Here's proof. And while I'm prepping that, I'd better bone up on some new recipes for how to serve man. You know what goes great with Long Pig? A refreshing Coca-Cola. I wonder if they paid for the product placement. Meanwhile, at Police HQ, they finally start connecting the dots. Nice work, guys. Now it's time to jump back to the restaurant. Man, this movie hops around more than those Chinese vampires. The cops show up with questions and an appetite. Oh my god, these are so great. How do you do it? Oh, the secret ingredient is Larry. Speaking of which, we're gonna need to hire someone. The cops, who are clearly not the sharpest knives in the knife block, even take some delicious Larry buns back to HQ. Oh no, this one's grisly. I think I got a toenail in it. But hey, at least Danny Lee's not a complete idiot. And back over at the restaurant, the hostess wants to quit. Man, this place just can't keep help. Anthony Wong is not happy about this. What? You can't quit without giving notice? It's all good though, because they're running low on Larry. Wong's gonna cook her up like General Cho's chicken, but first he's gonna tenderize her personally. I'd like to once again remind you that Anthony Wong is a respected Hong Kong film star and that he won a Best Actor award for this film. Shit's clearly crazy in Hong Kong. After the assault, he decides to add insult to injury by giving her a gynecological exam with some chopsticks. Easy there, Chopin. I'm gonna be honest, given Wong's penchant for recycling, I'm sorta of surprised he didn't just wash off those chopsticks and reuse them. And if you are missing Danny Lee and the Kowloon cops, don't worry, they're still bumbling through this case. In this scene, we get an exposition dump of everything you've already figured out. Wong killed the original owner of the restaurant and his family, and those were their limbs on the shore at the beginning of the movie. They head back to the restaurant and interrogate Wong. Uh, um, let's hope not, because that would be a whole different category of exploitation movie. They don't take him down, though. Instead, they just put him under surveillance. You know, like trying improv at open mic night. With nothing better to do, Wong decides to do a little spring cleaning in his apartment, tossing all the stuff that belonged to the previous owner. The cops then have to chase down the trash man to see what it was. Look, I'm sorry to pull rank, but I'm the garbage inspector. And it looks like you mixed paper in with the plastic recycling. Then it's like a garbage scavenger hunt. Old lettuce, dirty diaper, used condom, jackpot. While they're doing that, Wong's working to make his escape. He's about to do the remove your shoes part of the TSA process, but the cops show up and it turns into a Benny Hill skit. 
Then we finish it off with a little police brutality. At this point, it's worth noting that the untold story changes gears a bit, and in some ways, Wong becomes a victim instead of the villain. But before we get to that, Danny Lee's gonna lay out the case like this is Law and Order, Human Meat Buns Unit. After the interrogation, the press gets wind of things. Inspector Lee! Inspector Lee! Is it true your team made human meat buns from the Eight Immortals restaurant? No comment. Back inside, these guys are putting the boots to Wong like they're the outsiders and he's one of the Steiner brothers. <laughs> and things get even crazier when Wong escapes and crashes the press conference. Look at my abs! CrossFit changed my life! This leads to some bad press, and a need for a change in strategy. Well, maybe you can beat him with a phone book so it doesn't leave bruises. Or yeah, you could do that. And with that, Wong gets to be the new fish at prison, and get jumped into his new prison gang. At least they didn't make him pull a train, I guess. <laughs> Well, maybe I spoke too soon. After the beatdown, Wong is in rough shape. <laughs> and he seems to have developed some strange fetishes. Yeah. Yeah, he really drank that. Turns out he's just been watching too much Dr. Oz. You really gotta get your medical advice from an actual doctor. But if you thought that was the end of the torture, you're wrong. Colonel Jessup's ordered a code red. You can't handle the truth, or being beaten by a bar of soap and a sock. Man, my Jack Nicholson sucks. Wong's decided there's no amount of urine drinking that's gonna cure this problem, so he's gonna check out by sawing his wrist on this rusty metal. Hope you got a tetanus shot. Man, I taste delicious. Although, not as good as those Larry buns. Man, those things were tasty. Hey, remember that guy Wong lit on fire way back in the first scene? Well, that's still part of this movie. Hong Kong cops want him for murder too. Meanwhile, back at the hospital, Wong's got visitors. It's one of the cops. I was gonna get you a balloon bouquet, but I figured you'd just prefer this beatdown instead. Apparently, they're pretty lax about securing prisoners in Macau because Anthony Wong here manages to take the nurse hostage and make a break for it. Look, stay back or I'll brine her for my restaurant's Thanksgiving special. He makes a break for it and is beaten again for his troubles. Man, Wong might be more punching bag than man at this point. With order restored, Officer Lee shows up. It's good they've cuffed Wong to the bed this time. It'll make it easier to beat him. See? Still with no confession, Inspector Lee has a new plan. Yes, sir. And Dr. Lamb here is down with it. Even the nurse is in on it, injecting him with water and giving him blisters. This is really turning into men behind the sun at this point. And finally, Wong cracks like the good china when you drop it on the floor. And <laughs> now it's time for a flashback. <laughs> After some arguing, Wong breaks this bottle over the dude's head like he's the Titanic sailing off on its maiden voyage. <laughs> then he takes everyone hostage and starts killing them one by one. <laughs> the bad news is these kids will be traumatized for life. The good news is their lives will be over in about three minutes from now, so they'll save on therapy. Yeah, he's really gonna kill the kids. Anthony Wong and Herman Yao aren't messing around. He's like, well, I guess we'll be having veal as part of our under new management celebration. He's not done, though. He's laying here basking in the afterglow, but he's got company. Damn it, I haven't even had time to clean up yet. Grandma shows up and sees the carnage. Then she gets up close and personal with Ward Cleaver here. <laughs> Now 
Now all that's left is the chopping. I was gonna make a joke about chopping meat here, but I was afraid I'd butcher it. It's like a body part buffet up in here. I know I shouldn't laugh at this, but I find at least parts of it humorous. It's going to be alright. The cops do have one last question for Wong. Well, <laughs> Danny Lee's like, I told you guys you shouldn't eat pork. Wong winds up back in prison, but he gets the last laugh as he slices his wrist and bleeds out into the credits. If they serve pork buns in the prison cafeteria next week, I'd probably skip them. Just saying. So, The Untold Story is one of the most infamous Category 3 films, and it's pretty easy to see why. Sure, the comedy is weird and terrible, but it definitely delivers on the gore and sleaze. But, does Anthony Wong make enough human meat buns to earn the coveted 5 Michelin barf bag rating? Let's go to the gore card! In terms of gross anatomy, The Untold Story delivers. We're treated to one eye poking, a bottle to the neck, tons of body parts, multiple dead kids, and some chopstick gynecology. All that gore and violence, along with some pretty decent FX work, earned The Untold Story 4 barf bags out of 5. This is definitely a sick flick. And the new Blu-ray from Unearthed Films is amazing. You can pick it up from the link in the description. Looking for more Anthony Wong Category 3 insanity? Then be sure to check out my review of the Ebola Syndrome. You'll find a link here on the screen. I'll meet you over there. Until next time, I'm Mike Bracken, aka The Horror Geek, bringing you all the splatter that matters.